What is going on everybody? It's me, Spencer, coming back at you with another video. And I heard a little bit about this on Simo's channel, this like Dragon FTK, and then now Cap G made one. So I was like, you know what, let me check this out for myself. Like, is this really consistent? Is it something that's gonna be topping on a consistent basis? And honestly, uh, I can say yes, simply because of how easy the combo is to start and how many backup plans that you can have. And you'll see that around YouTube. Uh, I'm not necessarily going to show you that too much. I am going to show you a few games of, of a, a practical application. But uh, the way the video is going to be structured today is I'll show you the combo. And again, I'll, uh, there will be a link in the description of Simo. And he like kind of goes over it with the, with the guys who made the deck. So uh, I don't want to like take views away from him like and act like this is my idea. It's totally not. Uh, I just wanted to show it to you guys myself. He showed the combo on Dueling Book. I'm going to show it to you. Uh, through EDO Pro it's a, it's a little more automatic and it's a little easier I think to understand and I'll try to walk through it with you afterwards we'll go over the deck profile and then I'll show you a few games of just me doing it um, and not I didn't even always go first uh, let's take a look here let me pause this and try to take the step a step at a time uh, the first part of the combo is literally okay can you get two dragons in your hand that's all that matters so in all these replays you may see i think i started off in a different way i don't think there's any two combos alike which makes this so insane so i activate that doesn't really matter i just wanted to get a uh, white dragon it's, it's a good combo starter so maybe you want to do that uh again dragon ravine is not even a necessary part of the combo it's just getting another dragon in my hand that i'll be able to summon I grab um, Phallix, it doesn't matter. Um, here we go. Special summon White Dragon. Well, let me just play this for now. Um, yeah, then you go uh, Rocket, which is definitely something that you'll need later. And you can, um, if someone wants to Ash, you can block it because I already had another um, Dragon that I could have used anyways. Um, so you can Chain Block there. And this is really where the combo starts. So you go into Romulus. Romulus gets you. Uh, ignore that, that's not important. Let's see, Romulus is gonna get you your Dragony, Dragoonity Divine Lance. Activate it. Use the effect of it to equip this bad boy, uh, normally you would equip from the uh, the deck and then you special summon it, but in this case I just had it in my hand. Whatever. Uh, after that you're going to go into Link Ross, grab yourself two tokens. And this uh, this is like really fragile, this combo, so you got to make sure you do it step by step or else you or like it really won't happen. There's not a lot of room for mistake. I think what you guys will see later, I think I may show you guys a couple of mistakes. Uh, then you're going to Synchro Summon into Martial Metal Marcher which gets you back your um, Dragonity Phalanx. You're going to link those two off for the bad boy himself, Needle Fiber. It's going to grab you a Red Rose Dragon. And with that, you're actually going to Synchro Summon into Herald of the Arclight, which I find so funny is that your combo extender also... Like, it's a necessary part of the combo, but it also is just in a gate, so it's really stu it's so stupid. Uh, so now your uh, opponent's pretty much locked out at this point if they haven't used their hand, like, one of their hand traps, especially, like, Nibiru. Uh, at that point, you can uh, easily negate that. Anyways, uh, when you do that, that's going to help you special summon this White Rose Dragon. When you Synchro Summon with uh, Red Rose Dragon, you're going to go into uh, LP. And also another striker. That way you have two zones pointing in the same spot. Uh, then you're going to activate LP effect. That's going to get you this boy, Fairy Dragon Levianir. Or Level R, whatever the heck it's called. Um, you're going to activate his effect by targeting one of your cards. Discarding or banishing one. Doesn't It doesn't really matter what card you banish. Uh, that way it gives you your second copy of Rocket Chaser, which will be important. After that, you're going to go ahead and link those two off for uh, Dillinger's Dragon. After you link off for Dillinger's Dragon, 
um, all you're going to do is use boot sector launch to uh, special summon that tracer. You're going to use tracer and fairy dragon to links or not link summon to synchro summon for your garden rose maiden. Garden rose activates and gets you black rose or gets you black garden. Excuse me. After that, you're going to activate black uh, garden. Oops. You're going to link this off for Union Carrier, which you're kind of linking down, but you'll see how it works out in just a second. That's going to put the first token on their field. Uh, then you'll activate from the graveyard the Synchro, banish it, and special summon your White Rose Dragon. You're going to turn that into... That's going to... And once it's special summon, obviously, it brings them another token. That's going to uh, bring you to your Pisty. Activate Pisty. Make sure you bring back your Tracer. That is important. And since a Rocket Monster was summoned, that would uh, activate the Dillinger's Dragon. And then you're going to link these three off into a Boral Sword Dragon, which I know sounds random, but it makes sense. This is an FTK, I promise. Which obviously brings another token. And then you activate Union Care. Now, if you were playing an opponent and you worry about their extra deck, this is where you could um, uh, use the Bamboo Sword or whatever, but we are not going for that. We're going even further beyond. And this is the crux of the deck, the Earthbound Immortal which you'll see its application in just a second. Once you do that, make sure you activate Rocket Tracer. Uh, I always target Union Carrier, which is, I mean, that's the card that you're going to want to do. Technically, you do this, but then you get rid of Negate for no reason. And that's going to help you summon the Explode Rocket Dragon. And once you do that, that's another token. And this is where a Boral Sword comes in. You're going to target your own Exploder Dragon. Exploder Dragon's going to activate his effect. And blow himself up. And brings two, 2k damage to each player. And since it was the end phase and was destroyed. You can special summon another copy of Tracer. And since that was special summon. That will bring them the last token. So now he has five tokens on field. And that's an and they're, that's going to end their turn. Um, whenever anything is activated or they go for the end phase, it doesn't really matter. Um, I just fake this. That's going to trigger the rest of the combo. Tracer is going to target your Earthbound Immortal, and uh, that's obviously going to bring you another Exploded uh, dra uh, Rocket Dragon. And then you'll activate Earthbound and uh, the Immortal uh, Alsa Peak. Piss Q, whatever the hell it's called, uh, is going to activate his effect, blow up your opponent's board, and at the same time, you'll chain explode rocket to that. Um, that's going to blow up his whole board, deal 4k damage, and um, for the reason it was just acting up where I forgot to activate, but obviously it would target this and you would go through explode a rocket again, which would be the last 2k damage. So that's a tutorial. It's really complicated, trust me. So I had to watch over the SEMA video a whole bunch of times to get this down and then and practice out. In practicality, I even messed up too, which I'll show you guys. And I, I kind of want to show you guys me messing up more than just the combo because here's the combo. Um, so yeah, that that's the full thing. Let's go into the deck profile just real quick. I'll go over it with you guys. Lots of one ofs. So, and it's also a 60 card uh, thing. So bear with me, please. Two effect Veiler, three Ash, three Nibiru, and three um, Fantastical Dragon Phantasme. These are basically if you're going second. Um, you're hoping that this is enough to stop your opponent because you don't really, you don't need much. You just need to stop them to where you can go for your combo, obviously. Um, three Star Star Liege. I think I use this as one of my combo starters. It's really easy. Three Black Metal Dragon. Again, once it's into the graveyard, it lets you grab like this uh, Red Eyes Darkness Metal. The three um, Nocta Vision Dragons. It's another combo. And then just the one of, so hopefully you don't draw it. 
wouldn't be great. The three tracer, which is obviously the heart of the deck, along with exploder, rocket dragon, one rocket Seekron, one absolute dragon, because you can send it with um, dragon shine, whatever, or foolish burial. Uh, like I had mentioned, Chaos Dragon Levineer is just a backup plan, really, along with this. Uh, these are one-card combo starters, so that's probably why they're limited. Uh, Black Dragon and White Dragon, Wyvern Buster. Uh, just the one uh, Fairy Dragon is not something you really want to draw because you're just going to end up being Special Summon Red, Red Rose Dragon, which is Special Summon itself, um, which also involves White Rose Dragon, as you guys saw. And then you just want the one of the Dragoony. This is not really something you want to draw either, because uh, you just use it with the spell card. Uh, that's to lock your opponent out of the extra deck as a backup plan. Just the one Supreme King Dark Worm, which is going to be used with any of these three or Foolish Burial. That's a one card starter. Uh, and then this is the Equip Skull, Dragoony, Divine Lance. The three copies of Chaos Space, which I think I used in that one, uh, which is a really easy. Uh, Dragon Revine, which you guys saw already, the application of that. Three World Re Legacy Guard Dragon, which is like an OP card, uh, even after all the bans for World for the combos. When it came to like uh, Guard Dragon plays, it's still special summons like any of these. So if you get like Nibiru or something, it helps you keep going. Three Quick Launch, which is like one of the craziest cards I think like in existence. <laughs> the fact that it lets you special summon any rocket monster from the deck. Uh, just the one boot sector launch because obviously you're searching it on like every there's no way you can't get to it Three called by the grave to help stop hand traps three dragon shrines which I already told you about that the one for one foolish burial monster reborn in the black rose drag um, the black garden obviously That's the main deck. I have only not gotten into this combo once I would say out of 20 times and I'm sure it would be even smaller if I went over this like 100 times. I would say it's like 95% consistency rate. It's just way too easy to get into this combo. Uh, for the extra deck, you guys saw most of it. Well, let's go through it real quick. Uh, the Martial Metal Marcher, which has helped extend the board. Herald is to negate and also extend your combo. Uh, Black Rose Maiden obviously gets you uh, your Black Garden. The two Rocket, because you use it in the Guard Dragon play later, not just the one. That's not. It's not like this is a backup. Uh, the Pisty, the LP, you guys saw that. Link Ross, you know about that. Halifibrax, you know about that. The Union Carrier, you know the application of that. Romulus. Uh, this is um, like one of those backup plans, the Destruction Sword. Uh, the Dillinger's Dragon, you saw how it works. Uh, this is another San Boral Guard Dragon. Or San... What is it? Quad Boral. I was like, why does it say San? That's so weird. Um... That's just rocket plays, and then you know the application of Boral Sword Dragon. And they had a bunch of stuff to the side, and I think that's kind of something that you guys would do, probably more fitted towards your locals or whatever. But yeah, there's the the 60 card deck list. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Now let's just go into a few replays. I mean, it's going to be the same thing. So if you guys want to see it in full action, here it is for you. And I'm going first. He's playing Time Lord, so he has no idea. And I think I actually messed this up, um, but not really. It's just kind of a wonky way of finishing it out. I, I'm not going to really go over the combo with you guys again, but um, there was the equip. That was the one thing I do. I am glad that you guys got to see. And it goes on the Martial Metal Marcher. I mean, this is just insane. So now he's locked out. I like n not to say that I had anything anyways, but you'll see where this comes in handy later. Make sure I grab the Tracer. You know, the, the whole combo in the middle is the same, but to get there is just, it's whatever you need. Start summoning the tokens to his field. Here's a second one. Pissy grabs the Tracer back. And there comes Boral Sword Dragon. There's the third token. Grab the Earthbound Immortal. Some of these I don't even think all the way through, but I this is at least the practical application of it going through in a actual game. There's the first 2K. That activates, grabs the second tracer. So once he does that, I just have to shotgun the tracer. There's 4K.
wasn't expecting it. And lovely, luckily, I'm able to get rid of that Mystic Mind. And before he does anything else, I should have done it in the same chain, but uh, I just wanted to make sure. Sometimes it's funky, and that's game. So there, there it is in practical use. Uh, I think I had this one, and I ended up messing it up, but able to recover at the same time. So I even have just the one for one here, <laughs> which is insane. Doesn't matter what I grab, that's what Rocket Seek runs for. And then the combos, um, you know, pretty standard from here. I think it's good for you guys to kind of see it used so many times. As they only show it once in the SEMO video, obviously, but maybe it'll be better for you guys to see the combo work a ton of times. And it's something you'll have to practice in. Uh, EDO is not the best place because of the time limit. Like even if you like know exactly what you're doing every time, uh, it just doesn't give you enough time. So you make sure you make your own custom game. I guess that's worth mentioning. Let's see where I mess up here. It's kind of insane to me that someone figured this out. And that's just like the power of Yu-Gi-Oh, I guess. There's two tokens. Grab the Pisty. So yeah, this goes all wrong for me. Because I'm I'm not very smart, but go ahead and target there. Active so I, I just didn't activate. I, I sometimes I think it's the website that acts funky, but yeah. That should have been the first two K, and that would have been the fifth token. Um in any case, it's not. It's really not the end of the world, especially because I have uh, Red Eyes Darkness Metal in my hand, so it's fine. My monster effects are back online, so I just use this. Now he has the full tokens. I'm able to use Tracer. You know, clear him out that way. <laughs> So even if you mess up, it is not the end of the world. So I go uh, to end the game almost. I should it should this should have been game already, but um, you know we'll see what he's got. So he's going for the chi dino, yeah, but. Um, so I'm not really in the best place. It's it's not over for sure, um, <laughs> but I should be okay overall. And you'll see what I draw in just a second, which bails me out completely. Which is Monster Reborn. Just have to go into the explode. And once I do that, that's 2k damage, and I survive by the skin of my teeth. Let's see what we got here. This, uh, this will be the last one for you guys today. So this is actually going second. He sets up a decent board all in all. To be completely honest with you. Like, if I destroy any of his monsters, obviously, you know, that would, like, he would have some, some way to combat that. But that's not really what any of this is about. And I think my time limit may even be up here, but... I just want to show you guys that uh, you can play around this kind of stuff, like, for the most part. Like, I, I, battle doesn't even obviously matter, so I'm able to just combo off and then at that point doesn't matter. So my thoughts overall is this is super degenerate and I want it to go away as quickly as possible. It's definitely something that would deter me from going to locals because a lot of people already have the guard dragon engine anyways. So it's only, all you need is like really needle fiber at that point. And all these cards are super accessible because of the rocket uh, structure deck and all that kind of stuff. So um, I would for sure put this in tier one without a doubt. Uh, you know what, it, it, all you need is just like the game you're going, either do you win the dice roll, which means you basically win the match like almost every time. Or you draw just the hand traps that you need and stun your opponent. He has nothing to do. Then you go full combo. Uh, 
Um, my timeline was up with that. You guys can see what happened there. So that's the uh, Rocket Link FTK for you guys. Or I don't know, maybe people want to call it the Earthbound Immortal FTK. Whatever the case may be. But let me know what you guys think about the combo um, and the health of the game. As of right now, I feel like it's not very great. Uh, but you guys should be aware of it. So hopefully, you know, I may have shown you guys some stuff that you may be looking out for. Uh, other than that, thanks so much for listening and watching. Uh